So hello, les enfants. Today, with this big plot of emptiness, we're going to be making a small autumn neighborhood. It's the first day of autumn! So, do I have a plan? <laughs> no. But is it gonna be okay? Yes. Otherwise, this footage would be in the trash. Anyway, so we're gonna begin by getting out our terraforming tool and um, putting Apple in her place, apparently. Okay, so before moving any buildings and spending your entire life savings, what I like to do first is map out where the houses are going to go. So I'm just marking out a four by four spot on the ground. I don't know why I filled this all the way in. It wasn't really necessary. Oh, hello, you're back. So I want a total of three houses over in this area. So what I am going to do next is start by loosely laying down the path that will connect said houses. We're moving inch by inch, apple by apple, people. So down here, despite this being an actual trash dump right now, I like the idea of giving someone a beachfront view. So again, I'm just gonna sketch out where I kind of think this house is going to go. And sometimes that results in me quitting halfway through to move on to a different house, cause this is how my brain works. And the reason for this is because if the third house is going to go over here, I think I am going to have to shift this a little bit so there's enough room in between here to get the path going. If this doesn't make sense to you, I mean, you don't live here. So anyways, I think I'm going to actually just shift this over one tile to the right, like I said, and then go in with the path to make sure everything will actually work and connect. a loose idea that I want to make a couple outdoor seating areas so I am going to leave room for those but as you can see I am also just making sure that there's a little bit of room available on each side and like maybe in front of the houses as well so that I can jam furniture or flowers or scallops that I don't give Pascal boo you whore just kidding I would never do that point is though as you can see that there is ample room available So if you are better at imagining than me, or are more of an anxiety-driven perfectionist than me, you definitely could figure out where furniture is going to go and like the flowers and everything before you move the houses, just to make sure everything is exactly how you like it before you move, but- It's definitely a no for me, dog. So instead, I'm gonna go around and pick out which houses we wanna move, who wants to live here, Willow. You seem willing and then just wait a hundred years to finish filming. Three days later. All right, so as you can see, we've got all the houses in place. I also have the path down, or shall I say the path. So next what I would recommend doing is I like to start by placing the foliage. So we're just gonna inch past Fang here and sprinkle some bushes and flowers around. This I am doing fairly randomly just to kind of give me a starting place. This might change later for you if you're going at this, but I like to place these first because what I'm going to do next is I place a combination of my custom paths. So I'm just sprinkling these little flowery leaf bits around and then over here in this area, I'm going to block off where I want one of those outdoor seating areas.
then finally I like to again just finish everything up by adding a little bit more of these pieces again you could just remove these if you want to later on but I like to make sure that this is done so that I can pop any furniture down on top of it Over here, I'm using the ironwood kitchen furniture because <laughs> what else are you gonna use to make a little outdoor coffee bar area? Because over here we have Aurora, Fang, and Willow living here, and I feel like each one of them would enjoy just reading while drinking a cup of coffee, watching the sunrise. Am I painting a picture? Yes, let me live my life, okay? So I'm going to also block this area off slightly with just two little pieces of fence over here and I'm also making sure to sprinkle lots of like lighting with these street lamps all around to keep, you know, the neighborhood safe, keep people seeing with their eyeballs, all that before moving on to Fang's house. So for his, I am going to keep things pretty simple again with just a few pieces of fencing in the front and then give him a little personal table around the side of his house in case he decides he just needs a grumpy corner. Up here on the other side of Aurora's house, I am also going to be adding a garbage can and a recycling bin because the world is burning, people. Recycle. Before finally coming down to Willow's house. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss this like bin of flowers here on the side because I don't know, Willow's a fancy lady. I think she'll like that. And oh, lucky. Are you jealous? Your time will come, my friend. Anyway, so on this other side, I am adding just like, I don't know, some laundry items because Willow is a fresh woman, despite Lucky just roasting her back here. Wow, okay. And finally, I'm going to like fling this brick well back here because I don't know, it felt odd of me. Why are you so nosy anyways? And then these little peach chairs that I always want to call acorn chairs, despite that literally making no sense. So if you're trying to create something similar, obviously feel free to just like pause and screenshot, but if you're adapting this to your space, now is a good time I feel to go back through everything and just make sure you don't want to maybe sprinkle in a couple more custom paths and empty spots or flowers or whatever you might need just to tie everything together. But for me, uh, we're calling it quits. So this is what everything looks like all together. I personally find walking through here makes everything feel cozy despite it being a million degrees outside. So I hope that this help for you if you are trying to plan out some residential areas or at least made you laugh or if none of those things happened well at least you did it champ you've made it through the wilderness yeah.